Good morning. We made it to the North Sea River Pots Preserve. Make sure that you go to the right Pots Preserve that you are reserved for because there are two separate locations. There's the one here, 2700 North Sea River, and one at Hootie Point that my phone wanted to take me to. If I just put in Pots Preserve, that's where it led me, and uh, I was in the wrong location. Here are some low hanging branches which might make it hard for tall fifth wheels. That's where the fun begins. When you make your online reservation, you get the code and you put it into the one labeled rack and then you get to open the gate. That's how you get in. Now this is the tree that really makes it hard for fifth wheels or anything really tall to come through. Did we hit the top of this with our camper? I'm going to brush a little bit of that and lean to the right some when I went through. And ours is only 10.67. So when you get here, it's important that you make a left. Do not continue down the main road because if you do, it'll just come to a horrible flooded bit that's narrow and it would be impossible to turn around and you would have to back up your rig and it's a fair ways down so that would not be pleasant so at this pots check station go left and you'll be at the campground back here though very shady seems like there are toilets available but only in the form of porta potties both here and a little bit further down at the entrance Pretty clean though. Very clean. This road is wet and rutty and has been, even though we've had dry days. So, not sure it ever gets better. This is our campsite, so I'll show you around really quick. Generators are from 8 to 8. I'm not sure what the alcohol policy is. I love it that we have running water though, even though they said it was non potable. Um, we use a filter, but it's probably not the greatest idea in the world. Um, we mainly try to get water from other sources, bringing it in. A lot of equestrian people come through here, and it's great for that. It seems to have very broad trails, which we haven't gone down, and uh, but you know, miles of them, so that's good. Make sure the weather is going to work out in your favor because if it gets wet here, you might get a little stuck. This is a lovely dog friendly campground. Thank you so much, Water and Wildlife Management. 